Hi, thanks for dropping by. You are the reason I create these weekly videos and I hope you find them helpful. Trust is the foundation of long-lasting relationships. When you fully trust someone, you can be completely open and experience true intimacy with that person. But how do you know when to trust someone? Time is a big factor for building deep trust in a relationship. The longer you know someone, the more you trust what you know about them. But sometimes one person holds back from sharing with the other person. When this happens with couples, one partner can start to lose trust. She may think, he didn't tell me about that. He may think, she tries to hide things from me. Before jumping to conclusions and becoming upset, you should ask yourself this question. How would I have responded if my partner had told me? When your partner feels, thinks, does, or experiences something and doesn't tell you about it, it's likely that she doesn't feel safe to tell you. Loving relationships require equal responsibility, and it's not healthy to hide, lie, and withhold information or secrets from our partners. At the same time, it's not helpful to be a person that can't be told things because of how you judge, think, and respond. I'll give you an example of what I mean. Over the years, I've had conversations with men who've told me about their goals and what they truly want from their marriage. When I ask them, have you talked with your wife about this? They reply, I can never talk to her about this. She wouldn't understand. You see, they didn't feel safe within their relationships. They were afraid that their wives would get angry, upset, or unhappy, and they didn't want to risk living with the bad feelings that would develop from that conversation. That can only mean that in the past, their wives had reacted negatively to other similar topics, so these men were taught that they shouldn't bring up certain subjects with their wives. That is a sad situation because those relationships were stuck. Both partners had ended up in a place where they couldn't express their authentic selves to the person they loved most. They didn't have a safe space to talk openly and honestly with each other. A good, healthy relationship is like a great team. Strong, cohesive teams win, and weak, incompatible teams lose. We want to win, so let's go over some of the ways that we can create a safe space within our relationships to foster a cohesive team environment. Number one, teamwork. Remember that your partner is on your side. She is your teammate and desires what is best for you, your health, and your future. A healthy relationship is one where both partners feel safe, respected, and loved without guilt, humiliation, or control, and disagreements are free from violent or controlling behavior. Problems are worked through as a team until a win-win solution is created. When establishing a safe space within your relationship, start off by saying, I'm on your side no matter what, and then prove it by listening without judgment and be her advocate, not the devil's. Demonstrate respect and request that same respect in return. Number two, team players. Each player on a team has a different and complementary skill set that adds to the success of the team. Trusting yourself and your partner allows for each of you to be able to express your individuality without fear of judgment or retaliation. It allows for each of you to have separate likes, friends, and interests that make you happy. My husband is an important member of a hot air balloon crew. I've gone with him a few times, but it isn't something I enjoy the way he does. So he goes off early some weekend mornings with his friends for ballooning, and I have my own interests and friends. We accept that we have different tastes and desires, and our unique personalities ultimately complement each other. Do you and your partner have different interests that you both support? Number three, team goals. Positive communication encourages arguments that are fair, meaning that an argument does not include blaming or bringing up the past as a tool to hurt and shame your partner. Instead, it is about identifying your feelings using I statements and addressing the action that may have caused the problem. 
An example of an I statement that supports a team goal is, I feel anxious when we overspend our budget, rather than you spend too much money. The goal is to fix the problem, not the other person. Go back and watch my video, We Need to Talk, if you need help addressing a difficult problem through a productive conversation. Number four, game face. Letting your partner know that something is making you feel unappreciated, taken advantage of, upset, or uncomfortable in a calm, logical manner allows her to hear you and understand how you feel. If your partner knows that when she comes to you with a problem, you will listen and try to understand without becoming angry or insulting, she is more likely to be open about her feelings and to listen and respond calmly in return. If you start to get too emotional and lose your game face, take a break and come back to the conversation when you feel calm again. High emotions, raised voices, and blame causes problems. Calm, gentle logic solves them. Keep your head in the game and stay focused on the goal. Number five, sacrifice for the team. It doesn't matter who is right or who is wrong. The one who recognizes the problem must be the first responder. When we disregard our pride, our need to be right, or our fear of rejection and reach out anyway, we can save the team and win the game. Someone needs to start the conversation as soon as possible. The more time that goes by while you're disconnected, the harder it will be to reconnect. Refer to the playbook or ask the coach for help if you can't manage to get it together on your own. That means read helpful relationship books and try the recommended steps or find a relationship coach or couples counselor to get you through a difficult time. Number six, team spirit. Where there is safe space, there is love, understanding, and forgiveness. Team members forgive each other's mistakes and practice to improve their ability to defeat problems and overcome future challenges together. They might even need to help their teammates forgive themselves for their mistakes so they can move forward and win the next game. When we know all the deepest secrets of our partner, we are given the great responsibility to be trustworthy, supportive, and to share our deepest secrets in return. A successful relationship is based on this trust, vulnerability, and intimacy. Team spirit means we want to stay together, work in harmony, and bring out the best in each other throughout our journey into the future. There can be many things that can cause problems in a relationship, such as money, time, commitment level, sexual and physical relations, and compatibility. It is important to communicate positively and honestly without using control to work through them. Many issues in relationships come back to a poor level of communication and a feeling of being isolated and alone. When you create a safe space where you and your partner can come together to talk openly and honestly and feel respected and loved, then you have the necessary components that make up a winning team and a long-lasting love relationship. Let me know if you have a safe space established in your relationship, or tell me if you have a difficult situation that you would like help to solve. I'd love to hear from you. Please visit my Patreon page and consider pledging a small amount each month to join our community, receive bonus perks, and support my work. And take a moment now to like this video with a thumbs up. Then subscribe and click on the bell to receive notifications when I upload a new video. Thanks for meeting with me. We'll talk again soon. The Softer Side